All right, Coach White, Buena Vista, Iowa, in the house. Uh, first off, you guys are Storm Lake, Iowa. How far is that from here? Uh, well, I thought it was going to be three and a half. It only took us about three, so it wasn't too bad of a drive, just on Highway 20. So speeding? No, nah, not too bad. <laughs> All right, where's the Wolverine? The man who heals himself in your head coach, <laughs> Jeff Brees. Where's Jeff Brees at? Right He's, now? Uh, it's actually his anniversary weekend, first year anniversary for him. So I honestly don't know where they're at, but they're somewhere um, enjoying that. So so instead, he, he doesn't just send one Wolverine head coach. He sends two assistants. What are you guys looking for here, and what are you looking for in a, in a student athlete at the, the compound? Um, really just looking for some guys that are willing to work hard. And, um, you know, grades are important too, so it's nice to kind of know some of that. But... When we're watching these guys, you know, it's it's important to see how they respond. Um, not so much are they getting the technique that's shown, but are they paying attention? Are they sulking or are they like upbeat and just just energetic yet? So, you know, it's August. You know, <laughs> and there's not a lot of wrestling that goes on in August as far as the high school season. Normally, this is a shutdown time. You got the football kids, the cross country kids, and wrestling usually takes a break. Obviously, the world championships are next week in Paris, but you know, that's not high school wrestling. Right. What do you think of a high school wrestler who comes here mid-August, you know, dog days of summer, about to go back to school, what's that say about a kid who's here, you think? I think it shows a lot. I mean, um, kids that are willing to work hard and, and be at something like this in the summer when they could be doing something else or some of them aren't even in school yet, so they still have summer going on. Um, I think that's huge. Um, a lot of them might even have been training coming into this um, over the summer, which is huge as well. You know, the kids that are wrestling year-round, and, you know, that's kind of what we're looking for, so. It gets so competitive for Iowa high school kids. Um, you got so many colleges here, so many Division three opportunities. Um, you know, not everybody's a Hawkeye or a Cyclone or a Panther in the Division one level. When you talk and you're looking for a, a D3 kid, do you think most of the kids you guys recruit can win NCAA titles for you guys? No, I don't, I don't think the kids that we recruit, every single one of them, you know, they're not going to win an NCAA title. I mean, you'd like to think, hey, when I get this kid, he's got the opportunity to, and everyone does have the opportunity, but only a small number get that opportunity to, to win one. So, you know, it's it gets tough with all the Iowa high school or the Iowa colleges and even the surrounding states um, trying to recruit against. But really, when it comes to recruiting, we want kids that are going to work hard, and in the end, they're going to get a good experience and, um, you know, go on to do bigger and better things. So. You know, the getting the degree, you know, I think yep. that's ultimately it's a, it, it's a vehicle for kids to get a degree. What do you guys, what do you, would you say the top program uh, or school is at BVU? Our biggest ones are our business program and uh, our sciences. Our education is pretty good. Um, one that doesn't get talked about a whole lot is our athletic training. I think it's pretty solid, pretty rigorous. Kids that come into our program that want to go out to athletic training, it tends to get almost uh, too difficult for them because there's a heavy workload for that, and I, I think it gets a little bit overlooked sometimes at our school, but um, those four are probably our, our biggest ones. Let's talk to Coach Ortner from Wartburg. You know, they've won six out of the last seven titles in your guys' division. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Yeah. Do you feel like you guys are chasing them all the time, or you're competing against them for recruiting? Are you chasing them? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, this last year I feel like we competed with them recruiting wise there's a lot of kids that you know as we were talking to them they were talking to them as well um, coach order is a good buddy of mine. I actually wrestle for coach order so um, you know I, I don't feel like we're trying to chase them down we're trying to just get better every day our mantra keep building that's what we're trying to do it's not can we beat Warper? can we beat this guy? it's hey let's just get better so Getting better, definitely. You know, that's something in life, you know. Yeah. You guys are trying to do a lot of life skills, too. You know, and talking yeah. to Coach Breeze, you're trying to do more than just make wrestlers. You're trying to make good people. Is that the most rewarding thing about coaching, would you say, seeing kids actually develop into good people? Yeah, I'd say. I mean, probably the most rewarding thing I have is, you know, you get a kid that you've coached in the past, and it's been a few years, and he calls you up, and he tells you about something that's been going on in his life and attests it to something he may have learned. You know, years back when you had coached him is probably the biggest thing about coaching, biggest reward I could say. All right, they're scrapping in there right now. I took you away from it. You got anything <laughs> else for me? No, man. Just uh, go Beavers. Hey, thanks for the time. Thank Enjoy you, the scrapping.